We do have team coverage tonight in Carlton County. We begin with Sam Perez with the very latest. Yes, Darcy, this morning started out with attorneys Mark Tinsley and Ronnie Crosby taking the stand. Now, they did not testify in front of the jury, and this was to give the judge a preview of their testimony so that way he could get an idea of what would be to come uh, if they did then testify about Murdoch's alleged financial crimes. The prosecution argues that the witnesses can give insight into Murdoch's mindset at the time of the 2021 murders, considering his financial situation was about to be uncovered because of a lawsuit Tinsley filed against him concerning a 2019 boat crash. Alex's son, Paul, who was one of the murder victims in this case. The only way that he could be broke is that money had been hidden. And so I, I was going to look for and trace uh, or begin that process of doing that. You know, that's what I'm trying to do is put pressure on him to, to force him into a settlement. He did, you don't want it disclosed. Here are the keys to the jail. Um, you enter into an agreement and let's go settle the case. Judge Clifton Newman ultimately decided to allow the jury to hear testimonies like Tinsley's. Later in the afternoon, the jury heard from Michelle Smith, Alec Murdoch's parents' caregiver, who saw him the night of the killings. SLED agent Kristen Moore testified about her search of the Murdoch's parents' home. And Paul Murdoch's friend, Will Mickelveen, testified about Alec's relationship with Maggie and Paul, which he called loving. Now, court proceedings are currently happening, and we will be here continuing to give you coverage all through the evening. Reporting live in Walterboro, Sam Perez, News 19 WLTX. Andrea.